Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on how to use APIs and JSON in Python for beginners. So in today's tutorial, we are going to make a very simple program so that each time we reload the page or refresh the page, we get a, the name of a cocktail and the glass that it should be served in, the instructions as well as some information about if it's alcoholic or not. And how can we do that? Well, we can go to the cocktaildb.com uh, and go to the API section. And here, um, we need some random cocktail. That is, every time our page refreshes, we get some random cocktails. Now, let's just copy this address and paste it in a browser. And this is something that we get. It's a JSON <clears throat> file. So JSON is basically a textual representation of data that was introduced by JavaScript, but now it's readable by most programming languages. So it's an object, and uh, this is the way we read it. So we have this key, and this is the value. This is a key value pair. So this is <clears throat> like a dictionary, and this is the key. And this is the value and the value now here is a list and this list has only one item in it another dictionary and this dictionary includes again key value pairs for example str drink is the key and the value is the name of the drink so whenever we want to uh, have access to the name of a random drink we need to look for str drink then in return we get some name of a drink if you want to see if it's alcoholic or not, this is the, the key. STR alcoholic. In this case, this one, this bounty hunter, is alcoholic. This is a type of glass, margarita glass. And instructions here, add the spirits into a shaker and do as such. Okay, now that we have it, <clears throat> this is so uh, ugly and messed up. So I'm going to use a Chrome extension to display JSON in a much better and well-organized format. So uh, let me show you here. So the, the um, Chrome extension that I'm using is called JSON Viewer Pro. It is free anyways, JSON Viewer. So if you go to the same URL, this is shown. Now, so this is just an object. Then you have <coughs> a dictionary, then you have this drinks with a list and inside the list you have only one item again in a dictionary and then inside the dictionary you have these so uh, this is the name of the the drink this is uh, if it's alcoholic or not this is a type of glass and set of instructions so we are going to get, have access to these one by one now let's go to our replit.com that says this is <clears throat> replit.com. If you don't have an account already, just make an account. You can also use your IDE or code editor on your local machine. Now, I'm going to make a new REPL. And since we are going to use Python, so we need to choose Python. Give it a name here. Um, I'm going to give it a name of cocktail. Create REPL. And... <clears throat> We are good to go. So the first thing we need to do is to import requests because we're going to make some requests to that URL and get back some information, some response, right? Now, if you're using your local machine or code editor, you have to um, install requests first. So pip install requests and then import it. But on Replit, we don't need to do that. Also, JSON is natively supported in, in Python anyways. Now, the first thing we need to do is to make a request and get a response. So let's just call a variable response. And we should go requests.get. So we make a get request. And uh, where shall we go to? So we are going to copy and paste the URL and paste it here. So we just copy and surround it <clears throat> in brackets. Now, but what is this response that we got? Let's just print out response to find out what we get in return. Now, we get a 200 
status code. So this is a status, this is code, 200 means that it was successful. And how do we know the meaning of this? So let's just go back to our cocktail DB. And if I go and inspect this, and uh, I refresh, I go to network, refresh the page, you see the status code is 200, right? It means that it is successful, the information that we grab is successful. But if you see something like 400 or 404, it means that you either, uh, the page was not found or there was something wrong. So 200 is a good uh, item of news. Now, let's get back. So we got 200. Now, uh, but this is not something that we want to display, right? So we need the JSON file that we just saw. So uh, now let's print out the JSON file. Just add .json and also uh, parentheses. Now let's run this. And this is all the information you just saw, right? So we have this dictionary or object and drinks. And then we have this list. Now we want to move step by step. So I want to go to drinks first and then grab this information then. How do I do that? So let's, uh, here, let's cocktails grab this inside a variable cocktails. So this is all of it. Let's just go to this drinks first. I want to show only this one. So how do we do that? So drinks, it's simply by mentioning the name of the key, drinks. And now, let me uh, write again. And, oh yeah, we need to also specify the, the index. So it has got an index of zero. Oh, we need to print it out. I didn't print that and I was waiting for something to happen. Okay, print a cocktail, cocktails. So this is basically the JSON format that we got. So we are taking <clears throat> drinks, part of it, and inside the drink, we are going to go for, let's um, remove this one first and see what we can get in return. So this is what we get, right? All the list. And now we, let's go inside the list and grab only this part that is index zero right so this is all index zero so here index zero now okay now we're inside <clears throat> uh, index zero so this is uh, something that we can choose now let me just uh, clear this out and print again. Okay, now we have only the dictionary. Now we are inside the list, we have dictionary. Now, how can I get access to this one, which is the name of this uh, drink? So, str drink. Now that this is our cocktails now, variable, this is what it shows. Now let's go and uh, then declare, declare a variable name. And I want the name to be cocktails str drink. Now, how do I? do that so I just simply do this uh, oops str drink drink was with capital yeah okay now let's print drink this time instead of all of it so name let's print the name of the drink let's see how it works I declare this one people the evil blue thing Remember, each time you just uh, run it, it gives you a new name of a new new drinks, a random cocktail. So now we have the evil blue name. Now we have the name. Now we do the same thing for others as well. So we, we can do the same thing for uh, glass. And uh, let's just copy and paste this. And we'll change this later. And alcoholic. Let's just go alcohol. Alcohol. And the last one, instructions. 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 Yeah. Okay. Perfect. 
Now we need to just uh, switch and change these uh, these key keys here. So for glass, what was the glass? Let's go back. So for glass, we had uh, here str glass. So this is what we should put instead here. And for alcohol, alcoholic. So this is the one. Alcoholic and for instructions, str instructions. Okay, now we have all these, right? Cool, uh, now we can print them out. <clears throat> and the way we can do it is by going one by one. So for example, print. Um, now we want f string because we want to mention uh, some string here as well as some variables. So we just say name is and here we can use the variable name and then we can use the same for the others this one we can go for um, yeah let's see glass and here type of glass for example uh, this one should go for alcohol alcohol and this one instructions instructions now uh, for alcohol um, instructions okay for alcohol we can also do something because some some of them are not alcoholic some of them are so if you just say alcohol and it says alcoholic or non-alcoholic well that can also work but maybe we can just do a an if statement here say if so if something that we get if alcohol alcohol if the word that we get is indeed alcoholic like exactly this then print out then print um, yeah then print alcoholic yes Al alcoholic yes else so if that is not a word so it should actually print out uh, alcoholic no so yeah this is something that we can do and then okay now let's try this out let's just go here Name, pink panty, pull down. Type of glass, Collins glass. Alcoholic, yes. Instructions, shake well. Okay, very. <laughs> okay, brief. Another one, Flanders flake out. Type of glass, Collins glass. Alcoholic, yes. Instructions, bang them both in. Oh, oh okay. All right. Now, uh, <laughs> so this is the, the way you make a request to uh, for an API, and then you can get some information and just print them out on the console okay thank you so much for listening and watching if you have any questions just uh, let me know